we did more investigation and we started from since he became prime minister from 2008 and we made a, a, a log of all the supplementary allocations that have been done from 2008 to 2018 um, and it adds up to about 1.3 billion dollars that he has been spending unlawfully meaning that um, he is not abiding by the constitution of Belize and he is not abiding by the finance and audit reform pact that was passed. Um, and so there are various uh, justification as to why the claim was being done. Um, one was uh, in the case of 2012-2013 in the Auditor General's report, she states that uh, 90 odd million dollars were spent without even having a warrant. Um, so that's number one a blatant um, concern for us. And there are other situations where he has done supplementary allocations to be able to justify money that has been spent already. And what we decided to do was to file this claim um, because we thought it was important that the rule of law be followed. Uh, the Prime Minister has been doing specifically that in the budget without any consultation, without any analysis, and he's been getting away every year by spending more than 40% of the estimated budget through supplementary allocations, which is unlawful. We thought it was important that, that this claim be brought. It's the second claim that we have done based on similar items. Um, because if the leader of the country, if the administrator of the funds, who is the financial secretary, and if the, the legal representative of the people, who is the Attorney General, are not following the rule of law, then we have a serious problem in our country. And we thought it was important that this be taken um, to the judiciary so that they can make a judgment on, on, on this situation. Because uh, we can't continue this way of going close to $4 billion in debt and of spending the people's money without getting formal authorization to do so. If not, you're acting uh, very similar to, to how a dictator operates.